Addition with unlike denominators, using fraction strips. Let's say we want to add one half plus one fifth. We can't add two fractions with unlike denominators. We can add these fractions by converting the denominators into like denominators. We'll do this by using fraction strips. We'll put the one whole as a benchmark to see if our sum is less than one or greater than one. Now let's put the one half strip and the one fifth strip next to each other. To find the common denominator, we're going to use multiples. Let's list the multiples of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. Now let's list the multiples of five. Five, ten. As you can see, both lists have ten. So ten is our common denominator. This means that we'll use the strips with 10 in the denominator. Now we line up the 1 tenth strips under the 1 half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 half is equal to 5 tenths. Now we'll line up the 1 tenths under the 1 fifth. 1, 2. So 1 fifth is equal to 2 tenths. Add up the 1 tenth strips. We have 7 tenth strips. So 1 half plus 1 fifth equals 7 tenths. Let's do another example. 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. We're going to use 1 as a benchmark. Now let's put together our strips. We'll put 1 fourth. To make 2 thirds, we're going to use 2 strips of 1 third. To find the common denominator, we're going to use multiples. First we find the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Now let's write out the multiples of 3. We're going to keep writing them until we find a common multiple with 4. 3, 6, 9, 12. As you can see, 12 is the common multiple. Now we're going to use fraction strips with 12 in the denominator. Under 1 fourth, we can fit 3 strips of twelfths. So 1 fourth is equal to 3 over 12. Under 2 thirds, we can fit 8 strips of twelfths. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 over 12. Now we add up the twelfths. We have 11 twelfths. So 1 fourth plus 2 thirds equals 11 over 12. As you can see, our sum is a little bit smaller than 1. Let's do another example. 1 fourth plus 4 fifths. We'll use 1 as the benchmark. Under the 1, we'll put a 1 fourth fraction strip. We'll also put 4 strips of 1 fifth to make 4 fifths. To find the common denominator, we'll use multiples. First, we'll find the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Now let's write out the multiples of 5. We'll list them until we get a common multiple with 4. 5, 10, 15, and 20. 20 is the common multiple. So we'll be using the fraction strips with 20 as the denominator. 5 strips of 1 over 20 fit under 1 fourth. 4 strips of 1 over 20 fit under each 1 fifth. Now we add up all of the strips of 1 over 20 together. We have 21 strips of 1 over 20. So 1 fourth plus 4 fifths equals 21 over 20. As you can see, our sum is greater than 1. We can rewrite it as 1 and 1 over 20. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, Please subscribe.